Hello dolly friends and hello fairy friends. It is March so be on the lookout for a video with all my newest St. Patty's Day themed fairies, okay? So just so you know, yes, it's another vintage doll video, but I am working every day in my studio on new fairies and videos. So I wanted to hurry up while I had a little bit of this nice sunshine coming through my studio window to give you a little bit more detail on this little cutie, which you might have recognized from my box opening uh, video last week. My friend Roxanne sent this to me. This was her mother's and her name is Nancy and she does need some work. So I just wanted to show her a little bit more closely and talk to you just a little bit. So I was on YouTube earlier. I'll let you look at her while I'm talking. I was on YouTube earlier and I've been meaning to address this. So, um, when I was on YouTube earlier, I did see an ad. Um, it was a political ad. Um, and it was for someone else's video, but their video was monetized. And so, um, it was a political ad. Now, I don't have control over what sorts of ads, um, YouTube chooses. I mean, I hope they're not political, um, but I just want to address that. I don't choose the ads. Um, I do pick the type of ad as in when it will appear and whether or not you can skip it. So the, the ads that I pick um, don't really have a big return on them. In fact, I think I've had my channel for over three years and I think I've made four dollars I know you're probably thinking how am I have I own well because I don't have that many subscribers and I I choose the skippable videos at the beginning now the reason that I do that is a long time ago before well not a long time ago but recently they changed the criteria for whether or not people can monetize their videos or not. I happen to have the watch time. I didn't have the new criteria of the um, amount of subscribers. So anyone who wasn't taking advantage of that before or who didn't sub who didn't um, meet the criteria before wouldn't be grandfathered in. I was grandfathered in and so I have chosen to keep the video ad. So I wanted to ask you guys, I really do this for fun, obviously, because I've only earned $4. And I think you don't see that. There's a certain amount you have to earn before um, you get paid anything. So that $4 is just kind of sitting there in the bank for me <laughs> whenever I might possibly earn more. So you'll have to let me know if they're more bother for you guys than they're worth. Because I certainly, excuse me, I certainly don't want to keep them if they're a bother and they're keeping people from going ahead and watching the video. I figure if it's a short vid a short ad at the beginning that you can skip after three seconds, it shouldn't really be a bother to anyone. But you guys tell me, and again, I uh, just want to let you know, I don't choose the content. And hopefully it's nothing, you know, that would be upsetting to anyone. Anyway, that all said, and that all out of the way, let's move on from Nancy here. And I, she will be keeping her dress, which is original. And she will be appearing in her very own video as I begin to work on her. Now, on to, and you'll probably recognize this one as well from the box opening um, that Roxanne um, sent me. Um, this is a sun rubber baby and it is all cleaned up now and I have taken the cheek and lip color off and the eyebrow so I will be redoing that and you'll notice here some cracking and that's the only little cracked area it does squeak still but I won't be squeaking it anymore because I want the rubber to last as long as possible so she will be getting her own video soon after she's all dressed again. <clears throat> and coincidentally, 
I have a friend named Tammy who has her own channel. The channel is Tammy Alaski, and I'll link it below. She just coincidentally did a video on the Gerber babies and her collection. Um, I have done some previous videos, which I'll link below too, on my Gerber baby collection. This one is the oldest now that I have, and... Um, frankly, it's my favorite now, <laughs> but I really love the Gerber babies. I love the look and my second favorite, I think is the Cupies. Cupies and Gerber babies. I'm a sucker for those, so I can never turn those down. So you'll see her again as she gets worked on. And those two I got along with some others from my friend Roxanne, as I said last week. Now we'll move on to my newest little baby. And I actually got her <laughs> yesterday. It, I was minding my own business, as all of us doll collectors do. We're not looking for dolls. They just find us. And that's what happened yesterday morning. Uh, it was a winter weather advisory. The snow had already started to fall. Not really sure why they issue, issued that because... We only were predicted one to two inches, and we didn't really even get that. But minding my own business, I go to check my Facebook page where I post uh, my newest fairy dolls that I create. And I see I have some alerts in the Facebook marketplace. And I go to look, and I see this cute little face along with some others. And this lady that's near here was selling some of her collection including this one so I talked my daughter into going to her house she was doing a uh, porch pickup only which I generally do not like to do whenever I purchase things off of the Facebook marketplace I'm purchasing from strangers so I'd prefer to meet like at a Kroger or Walmart parking lot anyway I went ahead and took a chance the lady seemed really nice and I went ahead to go, and this doll is about, I would say, about 25 inches. It's not small. And the crier does work. It does need some help. And the lady um, went ahead and included in the wig, which is not glued on. And the lady said that she actually liked it better without it. And you know what? I do too because look at that little cute little swoopy in the I always call that the swoopy. <laughs> Has a cute little swoopy molded hair and it does have paint coming away that was disguised from the wig. And it does have some cracking in its face. Um I don't see I see some crazing in the arms and the legs are actually not I don't see any crazy I see a little gouge right here on the top of the foot but uh, all together looking at her the eyes still look um, she looks like she can get wiped down with a very slightly damp cloth and redressed and I can put her on the shelf and enjoy her as is for a while until I want to tackle that so very pleased with her and look at her two little cookie crunchers right there and she doesn't have a name yet I, I was thinking of naming her Sarah but I just don't know we'll have to see anyway she was only $13 so I think I got a good deal um, I had fun uh, spending the day with my daughter. And one more thing before I go while I have it out. Um, I purchased a bunch of these vintage uncut patterns. And um, a varying sizes um, for dolls. So this one right here reminds me of Baby Chrissy. Which made me think I have tons of videos with no second parts that I have promised. And I have not done the follow up for my baby Chrissy's. And if I remember correctly, I believe I have five. It might be four. Uh, my friend got one of them. Um, so I don't really 
can't really say but I do know that they're naked <laughs> I did clean them up and I did wash their hair and they are waiting for their outfits so I have others they're just across the room and probably aren't really interested in seeing the other vintage patterns if you are let me know I'd be happy to share them but you will be seeing um, uh, possibly if anyone is interested please comment um, some sewing videos um, I may have to fudge I always say fudge whenever I uh, alter a pattern I might have to fudge one of these patterns that I have gotten if it's not the correct size yet um, a while back when my kids were little now um, they're 18 and 21 whenever they were little and believe me they're only little for a little bit. Everybody always warned me, don't send them to bed. When you send your babies to bed too early, guess what? They wake up older. So keep them up and appreciate them because they will not only be that little for so long. But when they were little, we didn't have lots of extra money. I always did dolls. And we did the rag dolls because that was just something everybody always had old clothes. Um, the rag dolls were easy and their clothes were easy because a doll doesn't ever complain if a sleeve is too tight. But for babies and for kids, um, this is a doll pattern, but I do have some for babies that I bought just for my dolls. Um, when you're making for babies, they do complain. <laughs> so I had to really start studying. Um... You know how to have some give in the sleeves and the pants so uh, when they were little I didn't have tons of extra money uh, for the dolls that I have now but um, thankfully I have a husband who is um, uh, he's a little bit uh, I'd say he spoils me um, but he is uh, very patient with me and my dolls and but when I didn't have a lot of money even for a pattern which I mean this one's vintage but whenever the kids were little a pattern might be five or six dollars every little bit of money went to the kids um, no matter what so I didn't have time for fun things like this for dollies and stuff but anyway I would just look at the patterns and I would sneak a little peep at the pattern pieces on the back so if I didn't understand um, how something worked like this one would be a simple one to kind of figure out um, but maybe this romper right here I might not understand exactly um, how if this was one piece or if it had a uh, little pant legs with it so I would just kind of do a little cheat here and I didn't have a nice, well, actually, I didn't have a phone. I am 43. I have only had a phone, a cell phone for, well, I got one when I was 35. So I didn't have a cell phone either. Some people can ch -ch snap a little picture. I couldn't even do that. I committed it to memory. And I would say, hmm, okay, so that's how that's made. Anyway, just a little fun story. If anyone is interested in seeing some sewing videos, I have a bunch of of dolls that are in the 10 to 16 inch range um, that these are meant for in the other uh, patterns that I have bought those are kind of easy to do up in an afternoon if anyone's interested in that then let me know in the comments and if anyone is interested in um, just kind of eyeballing and figuring out your own patterns let me know it's awful fun to do and you know what um, when you have to use what you got, sometimes you can come up with some really, really interesting things. I had in a frame, and I don't know where it is now, it's probably in the basement, but it was kind of like my motto, and it was kind of what I grew up with, it's what my mom grew up with, and it's what my grandma and my great-grandma grew up, and it was something like this, it was use it up wear it out, make it do, or do without. And that's just kind of what we did. So, you can come up with some really neat things. You don't exactly have to have this. And if anyone's interested, we can fudge up some patterns and come up with our own little designs. Anyway, thank you guys for spending a little time with me and seeing my newest little 13 unlucky, thir well, it's lucky for me, $13 cutie here. 
and I will see you guys next time. Uh, I hope you guys have a magical day.